Well, I appreciate you being here, and I am looking forward to you unpacking a little bit about what it looked like with you coaching with us, or excuse me, training with us, um, with me as your coach. You came in on the challenge, like before you came in on, an, and and we've been coaching since then, right, a ton. But mm -hmm. when you came in on the challenge, I mean, what what sparked you you wanting to be in there and and bite off a six week chunk and and get after it? Um, I just wanted like to pretty much kick my butt from the start, just give me a good head start. I had not like worked out consistently for a while. Um, so I really just wanted to get that good jump start at the beginning and then kind of change it up and continue instead of being inconsistent like I have been in the past. Um, and so I kind of did that, kick my butt for six weeks, and I was just like kind of continuing, kind of maintaining since then. But um, yeah, it was really just trying to get a lifestyle change again. I had fallen off a Yeah. And and when you came into the challenge, I mean, was what was the goal? Aesthetics? Was it a certain weight? Was it strength? Um, I think it was weight and aesthetics at first. Of course, every girl wants to look good. So mm -hmm. I think it was more of that at the beginning. But now it's just kind of like um, maintaining that and being healthy. Something that I can continue like the rest of my life kind of thing. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. And I think that, um, I think that to, to recap, I mean, in that six weeks, yes, we were doing some remote, right? We were doing, we we're doing three pillar remote, but then we were also were training one time a week in person. Um, can you tell me a little bit about, about how that experience was to have the hybrid situation going on, like seeing me for one session and then doing the other ones on your own? It was good. Cause I think that on your own is great. You do something at home, obviously, but like the in person was good because I got to see um, exactly what I was doing wrong in the most effective way to like hit muscles that I wanted to hit and also like a safe way to work out. And then that kind of carried over to my afternoon workouts because I saw a difference in the way I was lifting and the weight I was lifting. So I think hybrid in person um, is a great way to start if you like a kind of E about working out. But <laughs> yeah. And when you say E like, about working out, are we talking more about form and wanting to stay away from injury and that kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, if you're, I mean, like, I had a background in it, but I didn't have a background in, like, street training, I guess, because I just like to play sports. Um, so I like having a personal coach and teaching me how to street train apart from just, like, you know, cardio and doing what I think is good, which usually is not. So I like having a little coach there along the way. Yeah. No, I totally hear you there. And I mean, with the, with the challenge, right? We we had fitness, we had nutrition, and we had accountability. I mean, we've talked a little bit about the fitness here. Um, I mean, what would you say that that the uh, the biggest benefit to having to having a, a coach on the nutrition side would be? Um, they definitely keep you accountable. They can you know give you ideas on meals to eat if you're kind of like stuck there, or if you're stuck with like boring meals that you just like get sick of they can open like a new side there um give you books to read about it give you um plans to like go by um so if it's really it's easy if you just like ask for help yeah and and you know we talked right before we uh we hopped on here and, and started recording um would you would you kind of let everybody know how you've been able to maintain even even with not super consistent workouts with work going crazy and life going crazy and it being the holidays. How have you been able to to kind of maintain your weight and aesthetics post challenge, even when life is kind of hit you over the head? So I was like, I have to do something because I can't just, you know, eat what I want all the time and also just not work out as much. So I think diet plays a huge role in that. So I was still able to meal prep before work, even if I was just like, too tired to do both I would at least like get up and just make a protein targeted meal with some veggies and that was enough to like keep me maintained over like the past two months really um I haven't had to like work out super vigorously like I'll go to the gym and just like walk but if I hit my meals and they're you know pretty balanced and they're and I eat well over those shifts then I've been fine so it's really, yeah. it's really diet <laughs> heck yeah so yeah, I, I appreciate you kind of sharing a little bit about that. If there's someone that's on the fence, right? And they're like, hey, I don't know if this will work for me remote. I don't know if I can I can follow this stuff, even with a one-on-one -on -one coach, if I'm not standing in front of you for all of it. I mean, what would you say to those people that are afraid to go remote? Um, get a coach who checks in with you every day. 
um, you're pretty good about that. So you should get someone who is like texting you either on the app or like phone or whatever. Just someone who's checking in with you to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to or what they can do to make it easier for you to do, which you're really good at. So I think that's important. Amazing. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Well, I cannot wait to see where we go with with work slowing down, with life slowing down, and we're back getting consistent on uh, on the workouts a handful of times a week. Thank you so much for being willing to uh, to share kind of how it worked for you on the six week challenge, and then then how you've been feeling after. Uh, I look forward mm-hmm. to continued success on your end, and I appreciate you sharing.